Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'd like to show you another way to execute Python scripts and that's using the terminal or the command line. This is especially useful when you connect to a remote machine or server using for example SSH and run the Python script on that machine. You don't have access to a graphical environment to open Python idle or PyCharm to execute the script. In fact, in this case, this is the only way to execute a script. Let's create a Python script using any editor like Notepad or even PyCharm. You can use any other editor you like. I'll write some Python instructions inside the script and uh, save it on the desktop. Name equals Andre in uh, single quotes and uh, print hello comma name. I'm saving the script on my desktop as uh, my script to dot py. This is the script. Now I'll open cmd.exe or command prompt, go to desktop, check the content of the current directory by running the dir command and run python and the name of the script. And you see how the script has been executed. If you use Linux or Mac, open the Linux or the Mac terminal instead of cmd.exe and run python3 instead of python. If you are not in the same directory as the python script, you must use a valid absolute or a relative path, otherwise you'll get an error. For example, I'm moving to the parent directory. If I try to execute the script by running the same command, so python and the name of the script, I'll get an error. That's not a valid path to the python script. No such file or directory. Now I'm running the script using the correct path. So python desktop with a capital D slash or backslash, you can use either of them and the name of the script, my script2.py. And that's ok. The script was run successfully. Great! In this lecture, you've learned how to run Python scripts directly in the terminal. This is useful when you want to run a Python script on a machine without a graphical environment such as a server or on a computer without PyCharm or other IDE installed. Of course, Python should be installed on that machine. With this video, we have completed the first section of the course on uh, set up the programming environment. So up next, we are going to have a quick quiz just to make sure that you've deeply understood how to run your Python scripts. Good luck with the quiz and I'll see you in the next section where we'll talk about Python basics such as variables, comments, built-in data types, operators and many more.